So what does B do in Vim? Well, it goes back one word. Now it doesn't go backward like the way that arrow keys go backwards. It actually goes back in increments of words. There are things that you can do to jump multiple words too. We're not gonna cover that today. I just wanna show you how you can move back using words and B. So let's open up a new file. I have prepared something uh, called lipsum.txt, and it just has the first paragraph of lorem ipsum, this classic placeholding text. Now, I'm gonna use um, dollar sign to jump to the end of this line. You don't need to know that, but I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing. Now, I use the B key to move back in increments of words. So I'm gonna use the lowercase b. B goes to the beginning of lictus, and then B again goes to the beginning of sedalis, and then B again goes to the beginning of nib. So I can keep hitting B to go back. Now the question here is once we have a period, what's going to happen? So we hit B and it goes to that period. The lowercase b treats these special characters as a word. So now if I hit B again, it's going to go to the beginning of Placeret. So again, I can keep hitting B and everything works as expected. Now, if I want to just observe words and not the special characters, I can do use my shift B to move just words and this will ignore special characters um, and continue on just words. So this comma here, it's going to skip on that, I did the capital B there. So again, lowercase b, if we want to navigate to the uh, special characters like commas and periods and other punctuation or capital B, if we want to skip over them to the next word. Uh, you're presumably watching this because you are a programmer and there are some things that you should know. So I'm going to make a new line here. This is a test to determine at uh, whatever, to tur Man. There are some characters that don't get observed the right way. So we're just gonna explore this line. So if I hit B, I go back to the beginning of determine. Um, and if I hit B again, well, it's gonna go back to the beginning of test underscore two. Um, it does not see test as a special character. However, um, it does see this dash as a special character. Uh, let's go to the end of the line again. I use dollar sign to do that. And I'm gonna hit capital B and that worked obviously. Um, this does the same thing as B in this case because underscores are not the same. Um, and then the capital B jumps over that dash and goes to the beginning of that word. That's something to know. Um, I've also noticed that in some of the, the emulations, uh, this is not terribly reliable. It's also customizable. So you um, may be in an environment um, or maybe using a Vim RC file that you borrowed um, that is going to change the behavior of this. Um, so uh, anyway, explore it and um, just know that this is the default behavior that you should be seeing. Um, so we, as always, we can look up help, H for shorthand, and uh, it will tell us all about B. Um, it does say that it observes a count. The counts are prefixed. So um, why don't you give it a try and explore um, counting, lowercase b and capital B, and um, you can read more about what it considers a word. It differentiates, differentiates word and uppercase word. Um, so you can read more about what Vim considers a word versus a word in this help. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to watch the other videos in this series, um, the playlist link is down below in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, good luck.